Hey everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today, we are seeing which Terraria mounts do the most damage. And we got a good selection here. Surprisingly, not every Terraria mount does damage. I went to the wiki, figured out which ones do damage by just reading their little description they have on the wiki. And I think this is all of them. Maybe missing some maybe i don't know because you know how wikis can be sometimes they can be a little inconsistent but yeah we're gonna run through all of these here some of them it's gonna be a little inconsistent with damage all of them is gonna be inconsistent with damage just because you know terraria is a game where you swing with a weapon the damage is gonna be different each swing just because of criticals i don't know other things in the formula for making the damage numbers i'm just saying random things now but yeah let's go ahead let's grab a handful here these are like all the pre-hard mode ones we might as well start with them started with with the slime saddle now the slime saddle is not a traditional damage amount it is one of the earliest ones you get but you do not run into anything with this unlike the other mounts or unlike a majority of the other mounts you instead bounce on top of the head of the enemy and as you can see we're getting a, a nice solid 40 over and over again i'm wondering if height distribution matters here so let me do this let me go ahead let me teleport up here let me drop a dummy here and let me change up the heights a little bit okay so this is our normal height 40 damage nice and then let me go way up higher and let me see okay it's looking like it's the same now i believe that all i'm pretty sure that all mount damage is related to summon damage so i believe if we were to throw on like a summoner set let's throw on a summoner set here let's get like the best of the best summoner set i believe if we throw this on here this is gonna change the damage so let's fly all the way up apparently i've never wore matching clothes in this world nice as you can see the damage is different we're not gonna do that with every single uh mount obviously we just want the number without having to put on armor accessories but it's still a cool thing that you know the damage is affected by class but yeah not bad not bad nice little 40 we look at our dps meter and you know it shuffles around let's move on to the next one though one of my favorite early game mounts pretty easy to get if you know how to cheese it and that is the golf cart mount look at this oh my god this is amazing for some reason this golf cart mount has insane hops like what, what is this <laughs> well, why is this thing get up so high but yeah let's go ahead let's run into the dummy here see what number we get oh another 40 looking like 40 is a number that pops up a lot and i believe this is like probably the fastest speed we're gonna be going with a mine cart or golf cart so yeah not bad cool let's move on to these horses we got a good couple of horses i bet they all do the same damage because i believe they all move the same speed that's just like the mine carts all right we're starting with this one what the heck is this one called the dusty rawhide painted horse mount let me go all the way against the wall just so we get that full speed you know you love to see that horses are in terraria other than the unicorn was that a 30 we had a nice little 30 right there a little less speed still hit a nice 30 it seems like we are getting like the same numbers and i was doing testing earlier and some numbers weren't the same maybe it was just like the mine carts and a handful of the hard mode mounts but yeah let's switch to another one here we're switching to the uh shadow horse and let's see a nice 30 yet again and it is getting its full sprint animation in just for people being like you're not moving at the right speed it's doing the sprint animation now i wonder if i go at this like little galloping speed now it doesn't do damage unless it hits that full sprint good to know let's go ahead let's get the other horse out the royal one and let's see a nice 30 yet again all right we're moving on to the hard mode ones here uh some of them are gonna get a little tough because some of them actually do shoot projectiles there's a handful of them that shoot projectiles and i don't really know how we're gonna calculate that we're either gonna use like a constant number from the wiki or we're gonna shoot a couple of mobs and then i don't know grab the average and then just add it to the contact damage and maybe this thing doesn't even do contact damage but yeah let's start with this one the basilisk mount this is one of the original mounts that i remember seeing uh that you know summon damage affected it and also one of the original mounts so where like you hit something and you're like whoa that did some good damage but yeah let's go ahead let's see him in action he's a lot faster as you can see literally catches on fire oh my god 90 damage let me go a little bit slower here see if i can change it at all no look he does like good damage you can just like literally run back and forth like this that's honestly crazy so this is definitely the highest damage we've had so far we've had 30 40 and 90 all right let's go ahead let's throw on the blessed apple and check out the unicorn mount another mount that i usually do damage with because you know it's one of those mounts that i usually get my hands on in a majority of playthroughs let's see it in action though 60 really 
I feel like it's going way faster. Uh, I don't know about way faster. Maybe it just feels faster. But I expected like an 80, a 70, not a 60. On to the next. The winged slime mount. Of course, the queen slimes mount that you can get. And this one does bouncing damage. So yet again, I think we got another solid 40 unless it is affected by gravity. I doubt it. This one could go a lot higher, a lot more easily though. Shout out to the wings on it. But yeah, there you go. Another nice little 40 damage. And last but not least, probably going to be the most complicated one here is the Scutlix. Just because it doesn't shoot at dummies and I, it also doesn't do contact damage. So this one, we literally just had to test it out on a, um, a zombie. So let's let's do that. Or, uh, we don't, it doesn't have to be a zombie specifically, but you know what I mean. All right, we have a uh, little spawner set up here, and let's go ahead. Let's shoot it a couple times. As we can see, it's doing different damage every time, and that brings in that uh, you know Terraria random numbers because of crit chances and other things. And uh, you know it does like a hundred. Let, let me see if I can grab an average here by just looking. Looking like a nice like 150 around that. Ooh, 166? Don't tell me it goes to 170. I don't know. I don't know how many times I have to do 167? What the heck? <laughs> 168 it just keeps going up so apparently it also shoots two lasers two lasers which means should i bring in two summons or two statues oh my god <laughs> The wiki says that it does 150 damage, and obviously we're getting, uh, you know, numbers higher than 150. Well, on the wiki it says about 150, and it has been buffed some somewhat recently. So, like, not bad, not bad. I I'm gonna definitely say that, like, the highest number we got was a nice 168. So, I'll put it exactly at 168. That's the highest damage for sure so far. Now, if I were to include both shots, then obviously the damage is a lot higher. But at uh, 168, 68, that's gonna be the number we're working with unless I see another bigger number than that All right now we got the master mode mounts here. Let's start with this one the goat skull now This one is pretty much a uh, unicorn mount reskin pretty much I, I can see right through it re logic you can't trick me and it does that nice 60 damage literally the same as the unicorn coincidence I think not uh, it would be cooler if it like lit things on fire, you know Put a little flames on some enemies, but you know, what can you do? Next up, we got the black spot. One of the greatest mounts that fell from grace. Uh, let's just see it in action. Obviously, this one flies. Let's get off the ground a little bit and let's see the damage. Ooh, for as slow as I'm going, a nice 100. And do I even have to be going that fast? I have no idea. I think once that like little gold circle explodes, unless I could do it like this. Uh, yo, it kind of works pretty close. <laughs> Not bad, that's definitely up there. And probably if it went faster, maybe it does more damage, I don't know. Wasn't really paying attention to the numbers in the past. All right, next up, we got the Hex Branch. This one. I don't think this one shoots anything. I'm pretty sure. Oh, 120. This one is super fast. I don't think it does any projectile stuff. Uh, so hopefully, I don't know. Let me bring in some minions, maybe just in case. Or right, let me bring in some summons. I don't know why I keep on calling them minions. Just in case. No, it just does damage. But nice, 120, I like it. That's definitely up there. Next up though, we got one that does shoot and I believe it doesn't do contact damage. Yeah, no contact damage. It's weird that like they get rid of contact damage for it to just shoot. Damn, do I look cool as hell in this though. Yeah, let's go ahead, let's place this down right here and let's see it in action. Okay, it's a little inaccurate. Damn, it shoots rockets too? How the hell am I gonna test that part? Go ahead, rocket, hit him with a rocket. No, don't shoot him. Hit him with a rocket. That rocket, I saw it curve. All right, let's look at the damage, though. Looks like uh, we can hit 100, no problem. Oh, higher than 100. Okay, I see it. I see it. 200? What the? <laughs> 204? That's insane. That had to be a crit. Okay, definitely the hard part is testing out the rockets. Like, what the hell am I supposed to do there? Can I hit this dummy above me? Let me, let me see if I can hit this dummy right here. <laughs> there you go. I put some uh, dummies above us. Let's see. Come on. Go ahead. Go ahead, rocket. Ooh, okay. That's a lot of damage. 230? Did I just hit a 230 crit? Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Got a lot of numbers to look at. We hit a 200 crit with the regular bullets. We hit a 230 crit with a rocket. So if we were to put those numbers together, you know, oh, one of the rockets actually homed in on them. That's like 400 something damage. You know, obviously the numbers bound to change given if it's a crit or not, but geez, 
this thing does some damage this is definitely the best one yet all right last but not least here we got the mine carts let's start with the wooden one the default wooden mine cart how much damage can this baby do let's see 45 now this one is gonna be a bunch of random numbers i believe because this is one of the ones i was testing the most just to make sure that uh you know they did the right amount of damage especially all the ones that are in this tier you know the iron tier because what there's like 15 new mine carts in 1.4 and like 13 of them all are exactly the same just different looks so that's why we're not checking out all of them. We've talked about it before. I have a whole minecart video about it. But yeah, this one uh, it does nice like 40, 50. Uh, it'll, it'll hit like a mid 50 every now and then. It really is random. Obviously speed affects it. And uh, this is probably the fastest we're going to go. Probably. So I'll give it like a nice 50 uh, plus. Next up though, we got the iron one. Let's go ahead. Let's throw this one on. And let's go ahead. Let's hit our high speeds. What do we got? 82 or was that 92? It was 82. Okay, nice. Let's go again. I bet we can hit 100. I bet we can. Oh, 172? What the hell? <laughs> I did not expect that. Boom. 73. What the heck? All right, I'll give it one more try, and then we're moving on to the next one. But that's crazy. 172. I don't think I ever saw a number that high during testing. I think I saw 100s with the iron mine cart, but not 172. Next up, we got the digging mole cart. Probably one of the more unique mine carts, given that, you know. All the other ones don't do anything. Let's see it in action. 79, not bad. A lot slower than the other two. Well, I don't know. Maybe a little bit faster than the wooden one. Maybe. But it does damage. Maybe it's the claws in the front that help it out a little bit. But not bad. Not bad at all. I can understand the claws hurting. And last but not least, we all know about the mechanical minecart. Come on. This one also shoots lasers. How are we going to figure out how much damage the lasers do? Well, I hope some more blood zombies are ready to die. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's just crash into the dummy a couple times. As we're seeing, we're getting high 100s or like mid 100s. We could probably hit a high one. We could probably hit a 200. If I go at this enough, we could probably hit a 200. No problem. Uh, it definitely does more damage than the iron one. Like that iron one had to be a crit or something, bro. But yeah, let's uh, let's bring out some summons here. How are we going to do this? I think we remove this okay and then i just take this out and i just put a bunch of these down and just hope and pray that i hit them they're bound to get hit i hope so boom boom laser nice i think it did like 60 damage maybe i have too many let me just let me just do one because it looks like we definitely hit them no problem but let's see here that was a nice what 59 so we get like a little average like 60 with the laser so it does like 200 something and if we get that crit that contact hit crit this thing could probably do like 300 damage if we're being honest so i think this one probably definitely takes the cake for top damage along with the sand tank one and honestly the scutlix one is not bad either so i definitely think that these three right here definitely do the highest damage out of all the mounts and there's a there's a couple of uh, you know honorable mentions in here hey this iron minecart doing a crit that's an honorable mention the hex branch is an honorable mention not bad nice to see i hope you guys enjoyed the video hopefully i didn't forget anything hey maybe we do a future video with some modded mounts maybe maybe like i said all numbers are not going to be like perfect or anything that's why i'm not going to list any specific numbers like literally i'm just throwing out numbers with asterisks because it's going to be different like almost every single time but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video look at that gnome over there he's showing you his ass